So last time, uh, natapos tayo sa point estimation and then yung last done is yung uh, mayroong uh, standard error. Okay? And then, uh, na-determine natin yung value. So parang mayroong interval doon. Okay? So, now ang topic natin ay statistical interval. So, new topic na siya. Okay? So, objectives natin is to construct confidence intervals on the mean of a normal distribution and to use general method for constructing an approximate confidence interval on a parameter. So, confidence interval. So, engineers are often involved in estimating parameters. For example, there's an eight ASTM standard E23 that defines a technique called the Sharpie v notch method for notch bar impact testing of metallic material. So, uh, standard testing yun for uh, impact testing of metallic materials. So, the impact energy is often used to determine whether the material experiences a ductile to brittle transition as temperature decreases. Suppose we have uh, tested a sample of 10 specimens of a particular material with this procedure. We know that we can use the sample average X bar to estimate the true mean impact energy. Okay? So pag, nimbawa, nag-sample tayo ng 10 10. Nag-sample tayo ng 10 specimens. Yeah. Then, alam natin uh, from that, pwede natin ma-estimate yung ating mean. O, makukuha natin yung x-bar and then uh, sab pwede natin sabihin na mag-approximate siya dun sa ating true mean. Okay? However, okay, we also know that the true mean impact energy is unlikely to be exactly equal to your estimate. So, alam naman natin, hindi naman lagi or pwedeng hindi mag-equal itong estimate natin dun sa true mean. Okay? Kasi estimate nga lang siya. Okay? And reporting the results as single number is an appealing because nothing inherent in X bar provides any information about how close it how close it is to the true mean. So again, yung uh, pinaka latest yung sa standard error. So hindi maganda na re report mo lang basta ng ganito. So maganda meron kang standard error or meron nung uh, interval kung kung gaano ba ka precise yung estimate natin. Okay? Kung gano'n siya kalapit or kalayo dun sa true mean value. Okay? So, our estimate could be very close or it could, it could be considerably far from the true mean. So, uh, a way to avoid this is to report the estimate in terms of a range of plausible values called confidence interval. So, ito na yun. Okay? So, in this na report mo yung mean na nakuha mo, sample mean na nakuha mo. So, ang uh, maganda is i-report mo siya with the confidence interval. So, a confidence interval always specifies a confidence level, usually 90%, 95%, or 99%, which is a measure of the reliability of the procedure. So, <coughs> If a 95% confidence interval on impact energy based on data from our 10 specimen has lower limit of 63.84. So, kung halimbawa, ito yung na-compute based dun sa 10 specimens, lower limit na 63.84 joule, upper limit na 65.08 joule, we can say that at 95% level of confidence, any value of mean impact energy between 63.84 Joule and 65.08 Joule is a plausible value. 
Ibig sabihin, within this range, pwede yung value na yun. And we are 95% uh, confident okay, that yung mean impact energy ay nandito sa value na ito. Okay? So if you would, uh, kung, kung uh, pinuntahan nyo yung sa niyo LMS, yung uh, dinagdag ko doon, yung intro sa confidence interval, so maganda yung explanation na doon at kung paano niya interpret yung confidence interval. Uh, meron ding exercise doon. Uh, so kung nasagot niyo yun, so okay. So naintindihan niyo ha. Meron namang explanation yun doon in case na mali yung uh, answer niyo. Okay? And kung tama, nandun yun yung explanation. Okay? Yeah. And uh, when we say uh, reliability, so we mean that if we repeated this experiment over and over again, 95% of all samples would produce confidence interval that contains the true mean impact energy and only 5% of the time would the interval be in error. Yeah. So then yung, ito yung confidence level natin. Ibig sabihin, pag pinakulit-ulit natin siya, kung 95% yung ating confidence level, sure tayo na 95% of the samples would produce a confidence interval that contains the true mean. So, ibig sabihin, hindi, hindi laging, uh, hindi naman laging 95% yung nakukuha. Minsan, pwede mas mababa ng konti, pwede mas mataas, pero, if we keep on repeating the experiment okay over and over again mag-approach siya uh, relatively close to 95% yeah So, information about the precision of estimation is conveyed by the length of the interval. So, a short interval implies precise estimation. So, we cannot be certain that the interval contains the true unknown population parameter. We only use a sample from the full population to compute the point estimate and the interval. Yeah. So, yung confidence interval... So, yung precision niya ay conveyed by the length of the interval. So, kung halimbawa, uh, kagaya ng uh, example kanina, doon sa na-compute, so ang length natin dyan, ito, from 63.84 hanggang dito sa 65.08. So, yun yung nakuha. Halimbawa, ito ay for one experiment na 10 specimens. So, kung halimbawa, uh, inulit natin yung experiment and then uh, nakakuha ulit tayo ng value. So, yun naman yung length nun. Okay? So, yun yung sa precision. So, ibig sabihin, kapag mas maiksi yung length, mas precise siya. Bakit? Kasi yung value na nandun is lumiliit. Ibig sabihin, konti lang yung konti lang yung variation niya. So, mas precise siya. Okay? And then, kung, kung uh, pinanood nyo uh, yung sa niya LMS, yung galing sa Khan Academy, so, meron siya nung parang ganito doon. Ito ay yung simulation ng confidence interval. So, pinakita doon, uh, for this, ito ay 10 sample. Sample size is 10. Ayan. So, and uh, ginawa niya to for uh, 300 times. And so, may makukuha tayo ng pinampute niya yung interval. Okay? So, at 99% confidence interval, so yun nakuha dito sa simulation, ang 
ang mean pala dito is 50. Okay? So, dun sa 300 na yon, okay, 296 doon kasama yung 50. Ibig sabihin, uh, kung halimbawa, dito yung start, nung una, tapos dito nag-end. So, medyo maliit lang ha yung sa presentation. Pero if pinanood nyo naman yung sa video, oh, magigets nyo naman na to. So, dito, sa maliit, yan, dito hanggang dito yung una. So, pasok yung 50. Okay, yun yung interval niya. And then next naman, dito hanggang dito. So, pasok pa rin. So, ibig sabihin, out of the 300 times na inulit niya yung experiment, 296, nandun yung 50. Yung 50 yung true mean natin. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, 296 doon. Uh, pasok Okay, ibig sabihin Nandun talaga yung true mean And then 4 lang yung wala doon sa 50 If uh, Kinuha natin yung proportion nun 0.987 Or 98.7% Yung uh, Pasok Contained yung 50 Okay, and then doon naman sa 95% 287 Contained 50 And then 13 yung hindi. If kunin natin yung percentage na uh, 0.957 or 95.7%. Okay? So makikita natin na tama yung sinasabi dun sa confidence interval. Nakapag inulit mo siya na maraming beses. Although hindi naman siya eksaktong eksakto talaga. Kagaya nito uh, sa 99% confidence interval. Okay? Yung proportion na contained yung true mean ay 0.987. So, hindi siya 0.99 na eksakto. So, pwedeng bumaba, pwede namang eksakto, pwede, pwede mas tumaas. Okay? So, ito kasi random variable. So, random yung nangyayari. Basta ang important, kapag inulit-ulit mo siya na maraming beses, mag approach siya doon sa confidence level na yon Okay? So, yun yung sinasabi sa ating uh, confidence interval. Yan. So, yung confidence interval on mean of normal distribution, variance known. Okay. Yan. Suppose that x1, x2, x sub n is a random sample from normal distribution with a known mean and known variant. So, alam natin ang mean, pero uh, uh, hindi natin alam ang mean, pero alam natin yung variance. Okay. So, baligtad. Alam, hindi alam ang mean, alam ang variance. Okay. So, from previous chapters, we know that the sample mean x bar is normally distributed with mean Uh, mu and variance sigma squared all over n. So, in-standardize natin yon Yung formula natin, yung z. Yung standard na z. Okay. Uh, ayan. Oh, hindi pala doon. Yung z natin, yung z equals x bar minus mu all over square root ng n. Sigma square root ng n. Okay? So, alam natin, yung random variable C na ganan has a standard normal distribution. So, dito kinuha yung confidence Uh, interval natin. Okay, yan. Yung formula na yan. So, uh, 100 times 1 minus alpha percent confidence interval on mu is given by n. So, x bar minus z alpha over 2 sigma over square root ng n less than equal mu and Uh, yung mu ay less than equal sa x plus uh, sigma 
squared sigma and z alpha over 2 times sigma over square root na n. Ito. Ayan. So parang ito yung lower limit natin dun sa interval. So yung x minus z alpha over 2. So yung z alpha over 2, ito yung titingnan natin to sa z table. So may value yan sa z table. Uh, yung alpha, ito yung uh, 1 minus yung ating confidence interval. Okay, so kung ang confidence interval natin o confidence level, confidence level natin ay 95%. So yung alpha ay 1 minus 0 0.95 equals 0 0.05. Okay? Kapag alpha over 2, so i-divide lang yun sa 2. So 0 0.025. Okay? So ito, kaya dinivide sa 2 kapag 2-tailed yung ating uh, kinukuha. Ibig sabihin, meron sa kaliwa, kasi di ba normal distribution natin, uh, meron sa kaliwa, meron sa kanan. So, ibig sabihin, yung portion, kapag alpha over 2, so yung dalawa, both left and right, uh, may kinuhang portion doon. Okay? Yun yun, yung z alpha over 2. Kapag z alpha, ibig sabihin, isang side lang. Okay, yung meron. Okay, kasi pwedeng, pwede kasi, uh, meron lang tayong, uh, ang mahalaga lang sa atin, is halimbawa, yung sa left side lang, o yung sa lower limit lang. So, z alpha lang, one tail lang yung gagamitin natin. Okay, pero kapag pareha, so dalawa, z alpha over 2. Yun. And then, so, ito may value. So, yung x bar, so makukumpit naman yan. Yung z alpha over 2, titingnan lang to sa table. Okay. And then, yung standard deviation, no, syempre, uh, or alam natin yung variance, so alam natin yung uh, standard deviation. And then, yung n, so syempre, given naman yan, yung n natin. Squirt na ngayon yung sample size. Okay? So, makakompute natin to. So, yung z alpha over 2 ay yung upper 100 times alpha over 2 percentage point of the standard normal <coughs> distribution. Ayan. So, balikan lang natin yung example. Yung kanina. So, an example, so yung ASTM standard G23 defines standard test methods for notch bar impact testing of metallic materials. The Sharpie V notch CVN technique measures impact energy and is often used to determine whether or not a material experiences a ductile to brittle transition with decreasing temperature. So, 10 measurements of impact energy. Uh, unit niya ay joule on specimens of A238 steel cut at 60 degrees Celsius are as follows 64.1, 64.7, 64.5, 64.6, and so on. Assume that impact energy is normally distributed with uh, Stigma equals 1 joule. So we want to find 95% confidence interval for mu. The mean impact energy. Okay? So, ano yung gagawin? So, kukunin lang natin. Uh, Isosolve lang natin dun sa ano natin to. Dito. Okay? Kasi kukuha tayo ng confidence interval. So, kukunin lang natin itong mga values na ito. Okay? So, paki try naman uh, sa calcule nyo. So, gawin nyo yung gamitin nyo yung stat function sa calcule para mabilis. So, mean ang uh, kailangan lang naman natin mean mean and then yung standard deviation. Yung n 
So, kailangan din, andun din naman siya. Okay? So, try lang sa gilid. Input ko rin sa calcio. Yung standard deviation natin dyan, since yung population, standard deviation, given naman siya. Ito siya. So, bali mean lang yung pinakakukunin. And, uh, yung Z. Yung Z naman na sa table lang. Okay? So, anong nakakompute nyo yung mean? X bar. Kita ba? Kita nyo ba yung values? Sixty four point forty six. Okay, tama. Okay, so sixty four point forty six yung ating mean. Oops, wait lang. Yeah. So yung x bar natin ay sixty four point forty six. Okay. And then yung z natin z alpha over two. So ninety five percent. Okay. So ang alpha natin, 0.05. So, alpha over 2 ay Z ng 0.025. Okay? So, kung titingnan natin sa Z table, okay? So, yan ay may value na 1.96. Okay? 1.96. Okay? And then, yung N natin, So, from the problem, 10 siya. Sigma natin, 1. Yan. So, kompleto na yung ating uh, nasa, o yung mga kailangan sa formula. Okay? So, ilagay lang natin. X. Excuse me. X bar minus Z. Alpha over 2 times yung sigma over squared ng n. Okay. Pakicompute ha. Yung and then x bar plus naman z alpha over 2 times sigma over squared ng n. Okay. So, ito ay 64. 0.46 minus 1.96 times 1 over squared ng 10. Then yung plus naman. 1.96 times 1 over squared ng 10 times ito. Okay? So, ano yung ating lower limit? Sixty three point eighty four. Okay, and then yung upper limit. Sixty five point zero eight. Okay. Yeah. So if it's a BN based dun sa sample data natin, a range of highly plausible values for the mean impact energy for eight to three eight steel at sixty degrees is sixty three 
0.84 joule okay hanggang 65.08 joules okay so ibig sabihin yung true mean natin okay so nandiyan sa range na yan for that uh, particular sample so we can say that uh, we are 95% confident na uh, yung uh, mean impact energy is nandiyan sa interval na yan okay Okay. So, yung interpretation nito, uh, yung iba't ibang interpretation, way ng pag-interpret is uh, na-explain na rin doon sa niya elements. So, pakibalikan kung hindi nyo pa siya nakita doon. Okay. Yan. So, yung confidence level and precision of estimation. <coughs> Yan, ito lang. So, notice in our example, our choice of 95% level of confidence was essentially arbitrary. So, what would happen if we had chosen a higher level of confidence? Paano kung mas mataas? Let's say 99%. Okay? Let's say 99% yung piliin naman natin. Okay? So at at 95. So dito makikita natin at 95% confidence interval. So kung hindi muna natin i-calculate yung values. Okay? So ito yung formula niya. Okay? So 2 ito equal dito sa 3.92. So ito ay 95%. Ito yung Z natin yung 1.96. Okay, Z ng alpha over 2 at 95% confidence interval. And then, equal siya, ang makikita nyo, sa 3.92. Then, times itong ating uh, sigma over skirt ng N. Kapag naman, 99% confidence interval. Okay? So, ito naman siya. Uh, 2.58 yung value do ng Z alpha over 2. Okay? And then, kung makikita nyo, yung coefficient na dito, yung multiplier niya, 5.16. Okay? So, yung 5.16, uh, compare natin dito sa 3.92, mas malaki to. Ibig sabihin, mas, mas mahaba yung magiging confidence interval kung ang kinuha natin ay 99% yung level. Okay? So, uh, ideally, uh, hindi natin gusto yun. Kasi, ibig sabihin yan, uh, mas mababa yung precision at 99% confidence interval. Okay? Kasi, mas mahaba siya. Ibig sabihin, yung true mean, kung nasa gitna siya, straight lang natin. So, kung halimbawa, dito, ito yung sa 95%. Uh, let's say, ito yung mean sa gitna. Okay? Ito yung sa 95%. And then, yung sa 99%, sabi natin, mas mahaba siya. So, let's say, ganyan. Okay? 99%. Ibig sabihin, mas precise, mas malapit yung mga makukuha nating value kung 95% confidence interval lang yung gagamitin natin. Okay? So, mas precise siya kasi hanggang dito lang yung mga value. So, mas malapit dito sa gitna compared dito. Okay? So, yun yung uh, sa precision dyan. So, precision is inversely related to the confidence interval. So, habang tumataas yung confidence interval, lumiliit yung ating precision. So, kung gusto mo na, ang gusto natin, uh, maliit lang yung interval, okay, pero adequate yung confidence. Okay? So, ayaw natin na uh, masyado malaki yung uh, interval kasi 
uh, liliit yung precision. Okay? So, precision, ayan, inversely proportional. So, it is desirable to obtain confidence interval that is short enough for decision-making purposes and also has adequate confidence. So, para mangyari yun, kailangan natin choose sample size n to be large enough to give a confidence interval of specified length or precision with prescribed confidence. So, kung makikita natin kasi dito, okay, so yung n natin, kapag nilakihan natin yung value ng n, okay, so mapapalit natin yung value nito. Since ito ay nasa denominator, so habang tumataas si value ng n, liliit itong total value nito. Which is, yun yung gusto natin. Okay, mapaliit itong uh, interval na to. So, ganun din dito. So, maganda, uh, choose natin yung sample size na mas malaki. Okay? Yan. So, doon naman tayo sa choice of sample size. Okay? So, paano ba natin, paano ba tayo pipili na ilang sample size ba? Okay? Yung kailangan. Yan. So, if x bar is used as an estimate of mu, we can be 100 times 1 minus alpha percent confident that the error or yung x bar minus mu will not exceed specified amount E when the sample size is n equals z alpha over 2 times sigma all over E. Okay? So, yung E natin yung Ah, uh, uh, ito. Yung ating uh, length sa. Okay? Length ng ating confidence interval. Okay? Pero 2E yung length niya. Ah, uh, 2E. Okay? Length of the resulting interval. Okay? If the right hand side of the equation is not an integer, it must be rounded up. So, itong value dito, hindi naman tayo laging makakakuha ng integer. Integer meaning uh, exacto siya. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? Minsan may decimal number siya. Okay? Eh, since ito ay sample size, so hindi naman tayo pwede mag-sample ng may decimal. So, laging uh, whole number siya. So, i-round ra up siya. Round up lagi. So kahit, let's say, 1.3 lang siya. 1.3 yun nakuha. Round up lagi siya. So gagawin 2 na agad yun. Okay? Hindi yung usual na rounding up natin. So round up siya. Round up. So this will ensure that the level of confidence does not fall below 100 times 1 minus alpha percent. Okay? So, para hindi bumaba dito sa ating uh, confident, confidence level. So, round up lagi. Yung E. Okay? So, meron tayong example. Yan. So, consider daw natin yung example. Yung previous example. Yung may notch test. And suppose that we want to determine how many specimens must be tested to ensure that 95% confidence interval on mu for a 238 steel cut at 60 degrees Celsius has a length of at most 1 joule. Okay? Yan. So, sabi natin kanina, yung E ay one-half nung length. 
Okay? Ng ating CI. So, to determine N, we use yung equation 8.6. So, yung previous natin. Ito. Ayan. Para makuha yung N, yan yung gagamitin na formula. And then, yung E. Alam natin, E ay... Uh, o yung length ay 2e, di ba? E yung length dyan is 1. Ito. Sabi naman eh, length ay 1. So, ibig sabihin, 2e equals 1. Okay? So, pag kinuha lang natin yung e, e equals 1 half or 0.5. Okay? And then, so ilagay lang natin dun sa equation. Okay, so N equals Z alpha over 2 times sigma all over E. Okay, and then squared. So yung Z natin, alpha over 2, so 95%. So, 1.96 pa din to. 1.96 times sigma. So, 1. All over yung E natin. 0 0.5. And then, ito ay squared. So, pag kinompute. Fifteen point three six six four. Fifteen point three six six four. So, sabi natin kapag ganyan, round up. Okay? So, ang sagot natin ay 16. So, ang number of sample na kailangan natin to ensure that 95% confidence interval. Okay? Uh, for A to 3H steel cut at 60 degrees Celsius has a length of at most 1 ay ito, 16. Okay. So, kung makikita nyo, ito, ito example na to, uh, pinahanap sa atin yung N. Okay. Doon kasi kanina, given yung N. Okay. So, ito naman, to ensure 95%, kailangan natin ng 16 na sample. Okay? And then, kung mapapansin natin dyan, uh, okay? So, in general relationship between sample size Desired length of the confidence interval, yung 2E, and yung confidence level at standard deviation. So, kapag yung desired length ng interval, or yung 2E decreases, okay, ito, yung E natin sa baba, kapag lumiliit yan, okay, so tumataas ngayon yung ating N, number of sample. Ibig sabihin, habang kung gusto natin o habang lumiliit o habang pinapaliit natin, o ano ba, ang desired natin ay mas maliit na <coughs> length ng interval, so liliitan mo itong E. Di ba? Pag nilitan mo yon ang effect niya, dadami yung number of sample mo. Okay? For uh, same... Uh, interval, for same confidence interval, saka yung deviation. Okay? Also, kung halimbawa naman, pag tumaas naman yung ating uh, deviation, ito, yung sigma dito. Okay? For a fixed desired length 2E and specified confidence. So, ganun din. Tataas din siya. Okay? Tataas din yung N. Kasi kung makikita nyo, parehas na nasa taas eh. So, directly proportional. Okay? So, as the level of confidence increases, the required sample size N increases. 
Okay? So, ganun din kung halimbawa, ito namang uh, level of confidence yung tumataas. So, tataas din yung uh, required sample size. Okay? So, yun lang yun. Ibig sabihin, okay? So, ang E, kapag tumaas or kapag bumaba, pag niliitan, pwede rin naman tumaas, pero... Ayan, balik ta rin yun na lang kung ano ha. So, ang E, kapag bumaba, mababang E, okay, mataas ang N, okay. So, kapag ang um, standard deviation mataas, mataas din ang N, okay. So, ganun din dito sa ating uh, interval. Pag mataas, so mataas din yung N. So, yun lang yung sa relationship na. Baka kasi mamaya. Makasama sa questions yan. Okay? And then, the confidence interval, yung mga naon na gives both lower confidence bound and upper confidence bound for mu. Thus, it provides two-sided confidence interval. So, yung naon na natin, two-sided. So, it is also possible to obtain one-sided Confidence bound for mu by setting either the lower bound or the upper bound to infinity and replacing Z alpha over 2 by Z alpha. Okay? So, pwede naman one-sided lang yung kuhanin. Kung halimbawa, uh, hindi mahalaga yung sa isang side. Okay? So, ang value niya is hanggang infinity siya. Okay, so for example, doon sa ating normal distribution. Okay. Kung halimbawa, ayan, ito. So, halimbawa, mahalaga lang ay yung lower bound. Okay, so yun lang yung kukuha ni natin. Okay. Itong sa right, okay lang, diretso na siya hanggang positive infinity. Okay, so, pwede yun, mamaintain natin yung, halimbawa, 95% pa rin. Okay, so mag adjust lang yung value, value dito. Magiging Z, Z alpha naman siya. Okay? So, pag kasi yung dalawa natin, kung halimbawa, 95%, dalawa, ito. So, para man 95% yan, meron dito, may bound ka dito, alpha over 2. Dito Z, alpha over 2. Okay? So, dito kapag one-sided, ibig sabihin, isang side lang. Okay? So, in this case, ito lang siya. Dito lang. So, pero, mamaintain pa rin yung na 95% siya. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, ito, itong value na to, Z alpha. So, madadagdagan lang siya para ma-maintain natin yung 95% uh, confidence. So, kapag upper confidence bound, so yung plus ang um, kukunin. X bar plus. Okay? So, dapat ay uh, ito siya. Mu less than equal x bar plus z alpha. So, hindi na yung alpha over 2 times sigma over skirt ng n. Kapag naman lower bound, so, syempre, yun nandito, nandito sa left side. And then, minus siya. x bar minus. Okay? So, example tayo. O, yung same data Nung kanina, used to construct a lower one-sided confidence interval for the mean impact energy. So, recall natin yung X bar natin. 64.46. This is X bar. Mean natin. 64.46. Then, sigma 1, N equals 10. So, yung interval natin. Okay. So, kapag lower. Okay. So, x bar minus z alpha times sigma over square root ng n less than equal to mu. Okay? 
So, palitan lang natin. 64.46 minus. So, ang Z alpha, so 95%. So, Z na siya ng 0.05. Okay? So, siya ay 1.645. Pero dito, ginamit lang ay 1.64 sa book. Okay? So, 1.64. So, gaya na lang natin sa book. And then, times 1 over squared ng 10. So, equal to sa 63.94. Okay? So, kung makikita nyo, uh, doon sa kanina, lower limit doon ay 63.84. Okay? So, medyo magkaiba siya. No? Magkaiba ng konti. So, mas lumaki. Lumaki ng konti. Okay? Bakit? Kasi uh, one-sided na lang kasi siya. So, minemaintain kasi natin yung 95% confidence interval. So, kagaya nung dun sa uh, dinrawin ko kanina, kung two-sided yan, okay, 95%, so meron ka dito, meron dito. Okay? Kapag naging isa na lang, so kailangan mong i-adjust. Kung baga, inisod niya. Okay? Umisod yung dito sa part na to. Kasi ito, lahat to kasama na eh. Okay? Para ma-maintain yung 95% confidence interval. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, the lower limit of one-sided interval is always greater than the lower limit of two-sided interval of equal confidence. So, ibig sabihin, kapag one-sided, yung kinuha mo, same yung confidence level. Okay? Laging mas mataas. Okay? Yung sa one-sided. Okay? Yung lower limit. Nung one-sided compared sa two-sided. Okay? So, yung one-sided interval does not bound mu from above so that it is st it still achieve 95% confidence with slightly larger lower limit. Okay? O kung ang interest natin ay lower limit lang, so one-sided lang yung mas preferred natin gagamitin. Okay? So, similarly, pag naman one upper, one-sided upper limit, so, lagi naman siyang less than sa two-sided upper limit. Okay? So, less than naman. Kapag one-sided lower limit, one-sided lower limit, lagi siyang mas mataas dun sa two-sided lower limit. Pero, Kapag yung kabila naman ang kukunin, yung upper, so one-sided upper limit ay laging less than two-sided upper limit. Okay? So, kung halimbawa, upper limit, ito, o pag one-sided, and then kapag two-sided kasi, so dalawa. So, laging less than naman kapag uh, upper limit. Kasi ito, magmumove siya ng konti pa ganun. Babawas siya dito eh. Para makompensate yung uh, hindi kinonsider dito. Para ma-maintain yung 95% confidence level. Okay? So, tandaan yung mga relationships ha. Ayan. So, dito naman, for large sample, confidence interval, okay, when n is a large quantity, okay, so, di ba sabi natin na uh, uh, kapag mataas yung n, okay, so, mag, mag approximate siya ng normal distribution. Okay? Therefore, itong uh, value natin 
as an approximate standard normal distribution. Okay, ito. So, kapag ganon, so yung, ito, yung interval natin is a large sample confidence interval for mu with confidence level of approximately uh, 100 times 1 minus alpha percent. Okay? So, parang halos ganun din. Ang naiba na lang dito, ito is S na siya. Okay? Kanina, ang ginamit natin ay yung sigma, yung population standard deviation. Okay? So, pwede naman siyang hindi, uh, yung sa sample standard deviation provided that n is large. Okay? Parang yung sa central limit theorem natin. Okay? Pero, yan, meron kasi ditong note sa baba. Okay? Generally, n should be at least 40 to use this result reliably. So, dito naman, kailangan ay at least 40. So, 40 pataas. Okay? Yung central limit theorem natin, ang sabi natin last time, uh, hanggang ano lang, pag n ay at least 30, okay na siya. ba? Sa central limit theorem, magpo-follow na siya ng normal distribution. Okay? Pero dito naman sa ating confidence interval on the mean, so mas preferred natin ay four, at least 40. Okay? So the larger sample size is recommended here because replacing S with S in Z results in additional variability. Okay? So N equals um, greater than or equal to 40 dapat. For larger sample confidence interval. Yeah. So may example tayo dito. So an article in the 1993 volume of the transactions of the American Fishery Society reports the results of a stud study to investigate the mercury contamination in large mouth base bus. Sample fish, sample of fish was selected from 53 Florida lakes and mercury concentration in the muscle tissue was measured. The mercury concentration values were, and so meron daw uh, mercury contamination dun sa mga fish. Okay? So nag-sample ng 50 ng fish from 53 Florida Lake. Tapos yung mercury concentration values kinuha. And ito yung mga nakuha. Okay? Yan. So, ang tinatanong, uh, hanapin natin yung interval. Okay? Nung mean concentration ng mercury. So, ito, since ang sample natin ay 53, so greater than uh, 40 siya. So, pwede natin magamit yung uh, formula yung nauna. Yung kaka, ano lang. Yung formula for large sample confidence interval on the mean. Okay? So, pakicomplete naman yung mean. Ang dami. Para ma-practice kayo. 0 0.52498 Okay? 5... 5.52498111321 Yan, okay. And then, ang um, sample, standard deviation, 0 0.34862534 Ayan, okay. So, tama. 
So yun, yun yung makukuha. Okay? Ayan. So, kapag ganon, so ipapalit lang natin doon sa ating uh, formula. Okay? So, may graph pa pala dito. Pero, oh, di compute natin so, sa formula x bar minus z ng 0 0.025 times s over squared ng n plus z 0.025 s over squared ng n. So, substitute natin yung value. So, 0. <coughs> Yan. Yan lang natin. Minus S. 0. 0.348625 Sa exam, guys, ang uh, gamitin nyo yung dire-diretso, ha? Yung sa calcio. So, kung... O, oh, ganun din naman yun. Limbawa, kung sa calcio, ilalagay nyo lang yung variable na yun. Hindi nyo naman siya itatype, eh. Pipindutin nyo lang doon. And then, yun na yung gagamitin nyo yung compute. Okay? Para yung dire-diretso yung makuha. Okay? S over... Ay, uh, times pala natin ng Z. Z ng 0 0.025 o 1.96. Times yan over square root ng N natin, 53. Okay? So kapag ganyan, yan ay around... point five two for Ay. six points six two five over Zero point four three one one two. So, so, then as a baba, zero point four three one one. And then this is a massa right, I zero point six one eight nine. Okay. Yan. Okay. So itong itong sa graph na to, pinakita lang diyan na hindi normal yung probability niya. Okay? So kung makita niyo dito, ayan, skewed siya. Okay? So positively skewed siya. So ganun din uh, to kasi meron dito eh. O ganun. Okay? So, positively skewed yung uh, data natin, yung plot natin for mercury concentration. Okay? Pero dahil nga uh, mataas yung N natin, okay? So, kaya uh, nag-approximate na siya ng normal. Kaya nagamit natin yung formula natin. Okay? Yun. And then, ito yung ating uh, na-compute na interval. So, in the interval is fairly wide because there is substantial variability in the mercury concentration measurements. So, a larger sample size would have produced a shorter interval. So, 
So, yung nakuha natin na interval ay medyo malayo. So, malaki yung length niya. Okay? Kasi kung mapapansin natin, uh, malaki yung variability dun sa mercury concentration measurements. Kung makikita nyo dito, ayan, o, merong 0.19, merong nasa 1 na, 1 plus. So kung check ulit natin dito sa data, Yan. Minimum natin 0.04. Tapos yung maximum natin 1.33. So kung makikita natin, malayo na talaga yung uh, agwat niya. Okay? So para mapalit yun, kailangan pa natin ng mas malaking sample size. Okay? Para mas shorter yung interval na ma-compute natin. Okay, so ganun lang lagi. Kung gusto natin mas maliit na interval, uh, kailangan natin na mas malaking n. Okay? So yun. So yun na yung mga tatandaan. So for confidence interval, so it's check lang yung masabihin kung ano yung uh, i-check kung ano yung confidence level na pinakukuha. So usually, siya ay 95, 90, 95, 99 percent. Okay? And then, uh, so, madali lang naman. Ang kailangan lang naman doon, mean, mean, tapos yung deviation, o this, in this case, yung sample standard deviation, yung deselastic sample, and then, yung N, so given naman. So, nasa problem na lahat. So, yun lang. Halos yun lang naman. Yung mean lang ang kinocompute. And then, yung value ng Z. So, yun. So, yun yung iti-check nyo na lang. So, nasa table lang naman siya. So, Z alpha. Alpha over 2 kapag 2-sided. Uh, Z alpha kapag 1-sided. Okay? Okay. 